needed. The fear at the start of the game in the Pakistani camp was that their batting would falter again, and it did. There were no middle order heroics this time, as there were in the semi final, and as the players swapped over, Pakistan must have been fearing the very worst. The surprise, I guess, was that it wasn't the seamers, but the spinners who posed all the problems. I said right at the start that Chawla had the look of something special about him, and that performance by him surely confirmed it. Eight overs, four for eight, outstanding figures by any standards. And don't forget, of course, the work of Jadeja, who started off the collapse with two wickets in his first over. Now, Robert Key's been sitting watching uh, all of that. Uh, let's talk spin, let's talk Chawla. Yeah, there's not much you can say about him apart from the fact he is going to be a very good bowler. He is a very good bowler now, but in the future. And Pakistan, similar to the time before, got themselves in trouble. And he came on in about the 13th <laughs> over. And these first two wickets, you got Ali Assad and Riaz Kaur, were the ones who digged Pakistan out of the trouble in the semi-final. And he came in with two great bits of variation. The, the thing that is impressive about him is his maturity and that he does, does seem to have such fantastic control. He puts the ball where he wants. I didn't count any full tosses, any long hop. There were no bad balls in his eight overs. No, which must be very hard to do. When you're a leg spinner, control's a very hard thing. But the way that he changes his flight, not just bowling, he doesn't just bowl googlies and sliders. His variation's very subtle and he's very shrewd. Here, the guy's just probably got a little bit anxious. He's probably felt that. And he's just given a little bit more air. That one there, the tail end of number 11, just a quicker googly. He may have picked it, but he's done him in the flight and managed to slide one through. He doesn't look to me like he's a huge spinner of the ball, but the control doesn't means that doesn't really matter. Well, it's uh, India's turn now to take this trophy away from Pakistan. Remember, Pakistan are the holders. What a start, absolutely unbelievable start. Diman, the man who gets the innings off to a flyer normally, has gone first ball, dragging this back from outside off stump, off the bottom edge. It's a loose stroke, Jamshed Ahmed makes the breakthrough. This ain't over yet, India off to the worst possible start, none for one. Rohit Sharma, the new batsman. Average of 31 and a strike rate of over 70. And suddenly got a job to do. He's opening the batting virtually. to the right hand it's great to see the ball There's so many bowlers around the world now Paul swinging it went through a time test of it when hardly anybody swung the ball that's the end of demon first ball inside edge onto the stumps Ahmed getting the wicket getting the breakthrough that's exactly what Pakistan needed Peel has it pitched on. That's the question that's got to be asked. It's normally the first question an umpire asks himself when it's a left arm over to a right handed batsman. Certainly swinging, but I think the ball is going to be pitched outside leg stump. There's a huge appeal, as you'd expect, when. Uh, Batsman hit on the pads this early. There you are, just a fraction outside leg. Might not even have hit leg. It's a highly charged atmosphere out there. Jamshed is uh, charging in, bowling a decent pace, above 80 miles an hour, getting the ball to swing. And India have just got to take stock a little here. Well, the only way, here's another shout, is this hits a pad first or not? Might have done, you know, if it did. It was perilously close to hitting off stump. Now, the only way this can be anything other than a disappointing final with the way that Pakistan batted is if their bowlers can make it as difficult for India. And remember, it's tougher after dark. Another 
20 minutes of batting before uh, we'll retire for the dinner break. Can uh, Pakistan do what India did to England? Well, uh, there's no reason why they can't. It's this preposterous rule, uh, again, that really hinders the side that's bowled first. We're doing a good job. What they've got to do is have a tricky little 20 minute, half hour period here and then start again. I mean, it's ridiculous. But uh, that's the way one day tournaments are. This needs a rethink. That's a good shot out of the middle of the bat. Good piece of timing. And that'll run away for four. Brilliant piece of timing. Almost a Yorker. Four for one, India. One over gone. Ten required. Now then. And while we saw the other day, bowled huge banana in swings. Started off with a no ball. Yeah. Pujara is the man he's bowling to. He's in great form. 100 in the semi-final, 97 in the quarter-final. 17 years of age, and India's key batsman. Oh, that's close, that's very close. In fact, it's out. India are two down. As it hit him, you just knew. Goodness me, Pakistan, what a comeback. Well, it's just about the perfect in-swinger, this. Bowling from uh, where he bowls and getting the amount of movement he gets. Got to hit the batsman just about on the line of off-stump. Look at this come back in here. Has he got outside the line? I don't think he has, because that front leg comes back. And he's in line with off-stump. And that would have gone on to hit middle, middle and leg. And Anwar gets his wicket now. Both openers gone. India, five for two. The target's 110 in this final, this uh, under-19 ICC World Cup final, and India are five for two. Anwar's bowled three deliveries this over. Two of them have been Ill illegal. An illegal one, he got a wicket with. He yeah, started with a no ball, then got the LBW. This LBW, look where it starts and how much it comes back. Now the pad is outside the line there. Just drags that left leg and left knee back into line with the stumps. Another no ball, and Shukla, uh, the Indian captain, in at number four, is off the mark. Get back behind that line. When you're a bowler of this quality, you really don't want to be bowling no balls. That's the batsman's view of it. Yeah, just as he straightens his left leg, he gets it back into line. If he'd stayed out there, played defensively on the front foot. He's tried to play back almost right at the last minute. He'd have just stuck with his first decision. He'd have been fine. If he'd thrust that left pad out now, just kept it going out from there, he'd have been safe. As it was, he's dragged his knee back. And that's got him in line with the stumps. Oh, that's gone as well. Look at that swing back and hit off stump. You can't do that to this guy. He swings it yards from outside off stump. And that's come back and hit off stump. I think it's hit the inside of off stump. I mean, what are you thinking? You've seen the, how much this lad swings it. You can't even think about leaving it. 
He can't think about leaving it. Look at it. Oh, it's just smashed the middle of off stump straight back. What a fabulous, fabulous reply by Pakistan, having batted very, very ordinarily. Sharma's gone for four, and India are eight for three. India eight for three, and they've still got another 12 minutes to bat before they'll get some respite over whatever's for dinner this evening. Mayak Talan is the new batsman, and uh, Sharma is the man who's, who's out. Oh, dear. And India in all sorts of straits here because the top three are all out, and they're the ones who've scored the majority of their runs in this competition. Done for the stump camera. You won't mind that. Two wickets in uh, two balls, effectively. Everything else has been a no ball. Bowled five deliveries and uh, taken two wickets, and he only bowled two legal balls. Oh, that's a brave shot. I mean, seen his predecessor have his off pole knocked out the ground. He's ready to leave it. Well, it seems some extraordinary bowling in this final. There's the spin of India undid Pakistan. It's the new ball attack here. These two have taken all before them in the in the uh, tournament the left arm of, uh, of Anwar of Jamshed sorry and uh, Anwar's big swinging in swinging deliveries he's bowled him out four down he's off and running we won't catch him he's down and everybody's on top of him he's off for his tee already he sprinted fully 80 yards after getting that wicket. Three wickets in four legitimate balls. Look at the swing here. That's gone with between bat and pad. It's a loose stroke, to be fair, but nothing wrong with the deadly accuracy. And look at the guy go. Jamshed has gone screaming across, across to a cover point. He can't believe it. Mobbed and India in desperate trouble. Eight for four. De Babrata Das is the new man in. And this over has gone. No ball. Wicket. No ball. No ball. Wicket. Dot ball. Wicket. We're in the second over of the innings. There are two more balls to be bowled in this over. And Anwar has got three for four. And his mate the other end, Jamshed, has got one for four. And he's bowling to two slips and effectively two short legs, really. It's a short leg and a short mid-wicket. He's not going to get that. That's going to swing way down the leg side. We're uh, 11 balls into the uh, into the. I think the umpire's lost count. I'm not surprised. Uh, it's a five ball over, but he's had three wickets in it, so it's all going off out there. Eight for four. We've been going for two overs. Number six is in, and number eight's got his pads on. We've not had lunch yet. two they need that's all great ball great line good pace a little bit of movement beautiful scene position just had a little push at it and don't you love this hands on hips well <laughs> I thought the old Pakistani captain might have been a little bit quiet in this innings no such chance now Safras uh, Ahmed behind the stumps. He was a uh, live wire all the way through the semi-final. Not shut him up now either. Beaten the bat again as appeals, but nothing convincing from the uh, wicketkeeper in particular, and he would know best. Well, we got uh, the makings of more great swing bowlers here. Great seam, look at it, angled away towards the slip. Shades of Wazim Akram in that. Easy 
take to put a, an 18 year old in the same bracket as the great Wazim but I tell you he might have the makings of another one nothing away from the bowler here we were talking about Wazim and almost in the same breath he's produced a delivery that the great man would have been proud of this has swung pitched off hit the top of off brilliant bowling from Jamshed brilliant performance from Pakistan in the first three over of this of this Indian innings they've decimated India to eight for five if you just switched on that is not a typo. That might be out. That might be out because he's caught it. We'll have to wait whether it's LBW or caught. But the bowl has gone through, caught the ball through, miles in the air. And Billy Doctro delayed his decision and gave that out then. And I think they might go and have dinner now. Nine for six. They'll have to go and have dinner now, otherwise uh, it'll be getting cold. Nine for six. Anwar could have had five for and he's only bowled seven balls. I tell you what, this is phenomenal. Oh, it's caught, definitely. I think uh, it would have been going down leg side in terms of LBW, but there's no question about that, that it's come from pad onto bat. And Anwar has four for five in seven balls. It's a decent start if you're a bowler. Das has gone for North India 9 for he wants his fielders to give 100% gone great delivery bouncer short ball whacked it in forced them into playing it around about chest high found the glove and went to the man who put it down a few moments ago but this time he hung on what a good short delivery Dug it in, got it up to about chest high. Not an easy ball for a lower order batsman to negotiate. Got the gloves and that was quite an easy catch this time. He's delighted. Shamshad has held the catch. Good bounce, really good bounce from the bowler and a good catch, way above head height. Serious ball this, really serious, up under the chin, look at the height. Pinal Shah who's out for 16, it's 62 for 8. I was applauding the fielding, it's got to Yamahesh on strike and Aktar feels as though he can get him. Don't like the slip configuration. Don't like this wide first slip. It's proved, proved to be a problem before. He's got that away well, though, off his toes. He'll get a couple at least here. If I were Akhtar, or if I were bowling at Yomahesh, I think I'd bounce him sooner rather than later. He's loving to get forward. Loving to get forward. You've got to stop him doing it. Oh, that's close. That's very close. Close enough for out, says Steve Davis. And another wicket for Akta. Oh, that's a pretty good piece of bowling, this. He's bowled it slightly wider on the cross. Since he came on, some great umpiring in this series. Bowling! The trophy once again belongs to Pakistan. They came here to defend it. They got bowled out for 109. And my goodness me, apart from celebrating, did they come back or what? India decimated, 71 all out. This glorious game of cricket, you just never know, do you? Who would have given them any hope? 